you know, there's no better buzz for me when I'm flying, when I'm making sentries or got the crowd cheering and appreciating your shots that you're making. There's no better buzz for me and that's when I really think, you know, I, I love what I do for a living. When I turned pro again, I, I sort of said, right, that's it now, 100% snooker, nothing else. And um, since then, I haven't looked back and been quite successful to date. A lot rides on my shoulders, to be honest. You know, I'm, I've got my own little family. I've got a wife, a son. You know, having to earn a living for those. Like sometimes I go on before a match and I look at a photo of my little boy or I watch a video of him and it just sort of, you know, really gets the, the hunger in my belly. They're the reasons why I travel the world and why, you know, I put so many hours practicing because I, I want to earn a living for them. My mum was always, you know, snooker's a little bit of a risk, get your education. But my dad was like, no, nah, come on, I want to take him out to the club and get him practicing, work on his cue action. People see snooker as, you know, you don't have to be fit, you just walk around the table potting balls. But they don't see the side where we're having to travel 12 hours to China jump off a plane, get practice and get ready for your match. And if you're mentally tired and you're not there physically, then you know how do you expect to perform to the best level? I was lucky enough to be practicing at my academy one day that was close to my house. And Ronnie O'Sullivan's walked in and he's, he's practicing away. I've sort of just watched in awe throughout the day as he's practiced on and as he's gone home and left his piece of chalk on the table. So I thought, wow, you know, that's my hero's bit of chalk. Here we are, Wilson, a couple of frames on. It's black for a century. I took that bit of chalk, practiced with it. The first frame, I made a century. 100. It was like it was just a bit of magic dust or something. God, if only that the imagination of a young lad was the same now. I'd be making centuries for fun. I'd like to look back on my career and people being able to call me a world champion. The world championships, that's what I dream of. That's what I get up in the morning to work for.